Hey guys, today on Bone Dog Bites, we're going to be reviewing the Jack Daniels Steak Seasoning. The two steaks that I'm going to be going with today are both New York strips. I got them from my local butcher here in Huntsville, Alabama. As you can tell, they have a decent amount of intramuscular fat. I did cut some of the outside fat off prior to seasoning them. For the first steak, I will be using my classic method of seasoning a steak. Normally, I use salt, black pepper, and garlic powder. I find this to be the most simple and most effective way of seasoning a steak. And for the second steak, I will be using the Jack Daniels seasoning. I am going to put a healthy coat of steak seasoning and make sure all sides are covered. Now that both steaks are seasoned, let's get them on the grill. Hey, how's it going guys? This is uh, Bobby Ferranti here. Um, today we're going to be reviewing the Jack Daniels uh, steak seasoning. Um, so basically we're going to be comparing that versus the normal type of steak that I make. Uh, normally I just use salt, pepper, garlic powder. I like to keep it simple. Throw it on the grill about a minute each side and then have about 30 seconds per side until it's cooked to the right temperature. I normally do medium rare. Um, so no further ado, let's dive on in. So I'll, I'll just start with the regular steak. So salt, pepper, garlic powder. So. I mean, you can't go wrong with that. So as I said, this is probably super simple, but I mean, it's super effective. And got the, the salt i normally use like pink himalayan salt ground pepper and then the garlic powder as well you can taste all three of those different ingredients going through so definitely as i said just staple of mine and that's what i normally use so can't complain there all right next one so we're gonna go ahead and give this jack daniels seasoning a try I saw it, and it was, uh, actually at an Ace Hardware a few weeks ago, and I was like, huh, you know what? I've never given this a shot before. Um, I actually have been to the Jack Daniels Distillery up in Lynchburg, Tennessee. So I live in Alabama, so it's actually not that far away. Definitely recommend going there if you guys like whiskey. Um, but let's go ahead and dive on in and take a look. First thing I noticed right off the bat is it's not as salty as I would like it. Um, as I said, I normally use pink Himalayan salt and I like a little bit of salty taste on it. I'm not getting that off the bat. On the other side too, after I'm done, I'm getting a sweet note at the end. So you get normally a kind of a peppery feeling and then at the, at the end, it's kind of sweet. Um, other than that, to be honest, it's kind of, in my opinion, it's plain, um, very basic. Um, I still would recommend the salt, pepper, garlic powder over that. So you're not gonna go wrong with kind of doing it the way that I recommend it. But um, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Let me know. Um, if you guys aren't a subscriber to Bone Dog Bites, I'd definitely appreciate it. If you subscribe and hit the thumbs up. Thank you guys. Take it easy.